Now that we've added a couple of path operations for users, if you take a look at our main.py file, it's starting to look a little cluttered. Uh, and you'll see that we've got all of our path operations for uh, you know handling CRUD operations for posts. And then you'll see that we also have all of our uh, path operations for working with users. So that's creating users as well as retrieving a user by ID. And uh, you know, as I said, this is a little messy. And as we keep adding more and more path operations, it just seems almost unmanageable to keep everything in a main.py file. And instead, what I want to do is I want to break it out and I want to create two separate files. And one file is going to be for all of the routes or path operations that work and deal with posts. And then I want a separate file that will handle all of the path operations for working with users. And, you know, it's not quite as simple as just, uh, you know, moving these path operations to different files. We, we do have to learn about something specific to FastAPI. And this is nothing unique about FastAPI. You'll see that every single web framework is going to have a, a way to kind of accomplish this. And it usually involves something called routers. So we'll take a look at routers in this section and how we can use them to actually split up all of our path operations so that we can organize our code a little bit better. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this routers. And then within here, I'm going to create two files. I'm going to create one called post.py and I'm going to create one uh, that's called user.py. So all of our path operations uh, dealing with users is going to be put into this file and all of our path operations dealing with posts is going to be put into this file. And what I'm going to do is we're going to go to our main.py file and I'm actually just going to copy all of my specific routes that deal with posts first. So we're just going to keep going up and I went too far up. Oh, this thing moves quickly. Here we go. This is going to grab all of our posts. And I'm going to just cut that out and we're going to just paste it in here. And there should be plenty of warnings and errors within VS Code. That's to be expected. Don't worry about that. We'll fix that in a bit. I'm going to do the same thing for the users. So let's go to our main.py file and just grab the last two path operations that we have for users and then paste it into this specific file. All right, so we've got a bunch of errors. Uh, and uh, let's go ahead and actually fix those first before we actually start working with routers. Uh, and so now that all of the, uh, the path operations are within these files, we're going to have to import, uh, you know, things like app. We're going to have to import, well, we'll come back to that, actually. We'll have to import status. We'll have to import our schemas. We'll have to import the session object. We'll have to import all of our database-related things, our utils. So all of these things that we see, little squiggly lines, we have to import them um, because we had already imported all of these uh, in the main.py file. And so we'll start off by importing the models, the schemas, uh, and the utils folder if we need it for one of the specific files. You'll see that we only need this for the user file. Uh, and so the way we did it in our main.py file is we say from, and then this dot means current directory. So uh, we say, hey, from this current directory we're in, which is if I kind of close that out, you can see that everything is in the app file, app folder, sorry. And we're saying from the current app directory, I want to import models, which is right here. And then I want to import schemas and utils. However, in our user.py file, in our post.py file, uh, the models, schemas, and utils folder is not in the same directory because we actually have to go up a directory to the app folder to access them. So instead of doing one dot, if you want to go up a directory, you do two dots. So that's all we have to change. So in our user.py file, we'll say from dot dot import, and we'll say models, schemas, and utils. And so right there, we cleaned up some of our uh, errors that we're getting. And let's see, we also have to import status from the fast API library. So what we can do is we'll just go up here and I'm just going to copy this. And right above this line, we're just going to paste that in there. And the last thing that we need to import is from the database, uh, we, uh, from the database.py file, we're going to have to import get DB and then from SQL, uh, alchemy, we have to import session. So if we go to our main.py file again, the SQL alchemy uh, code right here, we can just copy that. And I'm going to import that as well. So that's done. And then finally, we have the get DB. And if we take a look at our main.py file, the way we got that is so we're saying uh, from the current database file, we want to import engine and get DB. 
And keep in mind that the database file is not in the router's directory, it's in the app directory. So we have to go up a directory to access this file. So we just put two dots, pretty simple. So from dot dot database, import get DB. And we actually don't need to import uh, engine. Uh, we're gonna leave that here in our main.py file. All right, so now that we got all of that, the last error that we see is that uh, we don't have access to the app object. And so your instinct is to go to our main.py file and then import this. And that's not exactly correct. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make use of the routers that I mentioned. And so from the fast API library, we're gonna import something called API, first three letters, actually the first four letters, the API router. And then from here, we're gonna make use of the API router object. So we'll say uh, router equals API router. Uh, so we're basically creating a router object. And then what we can do is we can replace the keyword app because we don't have access to that in this file. And we just use the word router. And you'll understand why we do this in a bit. So we've got those updated. And then we're gonna do the same exact thing for our post.py. So we have to get all of these imports. I'm actually going to copy most of these because most of them are gonna apply here as well. Uh, the only thing we don't need uh, utils for sure. So we'll remove that. And then uh, you'll see that list is still getting errored out. And that's because if we go to our main.py file, that's coming from this typing import. So I'm just gonna copy that and paste that in there. And it looks like we don't need optional because it's kind of grayish. And so that's just VS Code telling us that we're not using it in this file. And I think that should clear up all the errors except for once again, uh, the app object. And so we'll do the same thing. We'll say router equals API router. And then what we're gonna do is replace the word app with the word router. All right, and then finally, we have to go to our main.py file and actually make use of these routers because uh, you'll see that in our main.py file, there's no reference to anything in here. So our API won't work if we try to run it now. So in our main.py file, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to say from dot routers. So from this folder, we're going to import post and user. And this should be plural routers. And then I'm gonna show you some magic that we're gonna do. And so above this route, we're gonna say, we're gonna grab the app object, right? This is once again, our fast API object that we kind of do everything with. And we're gonna say include router, and then we'll grab the post dot router, right? That's what we just imported. We imported post, which is coming from here, and we're importing this router object. And so what we've basically done here is, uh, I have basically said as we, you know, when we get a pat, when we get a HTTP request, uh, you know, before we had all of our path operations in here. Instead, what's going to happen is, you know, we go down the list like we normally do. And, and so we'll, as we go down our list, this is our first uh, app object that we kind of reference. And in here, it just says, I want you to include everything. Uh, I want you to include our post out router. And so the request will then go into here and it's going to take a look at all of these routes and it's going to see if it's a match, right? And if it finds a match, it's going to respond like it normally does. So that's kind of how we break out our code into separate files. We use these router objects. And we can do the same thing with the user.py. So we're gonna to go to main, and then here I'm gonna type out the same thing. I'm gonna say app.include router. And this time we use, we grab the user, and then we do router again. And so once again, all we're doing is we're just grabbing the router object from the user file, and that's essentially going to import all of the specific routes. And so if we save our code, and then we just quickly take a look at the, the terminal just to make sure there's no errors, uh, it looks like everything's working. Let's test this out now. So I'm going to get all posts. Let's see if this works. It looks like it works. Great. Uh, let's create a new post. Looks like it works. Get one post. Uh, well, it looks like that post doesn't exist anymore. But if I try one, looks like it works. Uh, we'll delete post with the ID of three. Great. We'll update post. Create user. Just put in a new unique email and then get user, so grab that user, and we can see that every single route works perfectly. So we didn't change the functionality of our project at all in this video. Instead, all we did was we used a, uh, a router object 
to be able to sp split up all of our routes or our path operations into different files. And then we import them just by calling app.includeRouter and then the specific router object of that file. And you'll see that our code looks so much cleaner now. And as our app and our API continues to grow, we can just add new files into the routers folder so that we don't continue to clutter up our main.py file.